Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Science for Everyone. Today the video is related to RNA seq data analysis, and the title of my today's video is Understanding Sequence, uh, Understanding Structure and Quality of Sequencing File. As you all know, that I have started a video series related to RNA seq data analysis, and this is the part four of that video series. In the previous video, I have told you about what is basically next generation sequencing, and we have generated the files after uh, performing the sequencing technology. So now this part will include these such type of steps that what is inside the first two file. First few files are basically those files that are generated after the sequencing. So when we perform sequencing, so uh, files are being generated and uh, I have discussed these files a little bit in the previous video. But in today I will discuss the structure of these files and what basically is present inside these files. Then how to understand FRET scores? FRET scores are basically the quality of the files and the quality of the reads that uh, how, what is the, basically the quality of that each and every reads. And uh, also a very major concept related to single versus paired and reads. Okay, so this video is very much important for you people to understand the structure of fast few file. Um, I believe that when you uh, understand the structure of fast few files, so then you can easily process it, and you uh, you will be able to know that uh, how to process these files. Okay, so let's start with the uh, uh, understanding the data. Okay, so basically this is the uh, these are the data files. The data is obtained in fast queue format. I will also discuss in detail what is basically fast queue format. So each and every uh, sample consists of a single file, fast queue file. Okay, and when it is compressed, so basically it is compressed in .gz format. Okay, so basically this is the sample name, and after that this is uh, uh, paired and read, uh, first and read, and after that this is the fast queue file, and this is the .gz. Okay, so it is basically compressed file. So mostly in the biological database that I will be discussing in the future videos, uh, basic, uh, these uh, such type of files are being uh, present in that biological database and we download it. Mostly uh, the files are also present in different other formats. So I will discuss in each and every format in detail in the later videos. So this is the sample uh, uh, the sample ID, the SRR ID. And after that, uh, this is the fast two format and this is the .gz as I have told you before, okay? So this is uh, paired and one and this is paired and two. What is basically paired and so I will discuss in a moment, okay? So basically we are having uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we are having seven samples and if the, they are having two paired and read, so uh, basically we are having 14 samples, okay? So a single file, a single sample, a single sample when consists of two paired and read, so it will consist of uh, two files, okay? Paired and one and paired and two. After that, we will process it and then we will join the, both the both the reads and a single file will be just formed, okay? Uh, but this is the topic for another video, okay? So uh, this uh, this such type of files are being uh, are present in the biological databases and we are uh, we are tend to download it, okay? Let, let's dive into the structure of the files, okay? So inside the first few files, there are thousands of reads. Uh, that are being generated after the sequencing technology. So each entry in the first two file have four, li four lines, okay? So basically the line number first is the header, okay? This is the header and uh, it consists of sample information and um, as I have discussed before, it consists of that, uh, the spot length, okay? The spot, um, the, the, basically uh, this is the, uh, uh, this is the slide and after that it consists of different spots. So each spot have a specific location, okay? So uh, location information is there and uh, the coordinates and different such type of uh, information is being present here. Okay, so uh, uh, it's basically start with this type of letter. Okay, so if you someone asks you that fast file inside a fast file, the header start with which type of symbol so you can uh, say that at the end, at the rate. Okay, after that, uh, here is the sequence. Okay, line, line number two consists of the sequence and after the line number three is basically a spacer. And line, line number four is basically the quality. Okay, the quality of each and every base. Okay. So basically, uh, what is what are these n? Uh, n are basically ambiguous, uh, ambiguous reads, and uh, these are such type of reads that uh, such type of bases that the scanner cannot uh, differentiate or the scanner uh, scanner cannot say that oh, what is basically this this base. Okay, so when it get confused, so it gives gives that nucleotide and uh, n sample. Okay, ambiguous base. Okay, so I will discuss in detail the ambiguous base why it is generated, uh, but it uh, it is a topic for another video uh, that will be basically related to the quality of the data. Okay. So this is our read, uh, it is sequenced and after that there is a spacer and this is the quality of that read. Okay, so when the scanner is scanning the, the intensity of the light, the fluorescence of the light, so when it uh, captured all the all the light, all, this, uh, all the right light generated from that uh, specific fluorescence, so it gives it a, a good quality. Okay, so it is confident over that base that uh, basically this is that base. And uh, so it gives it a, a specific type of scores. Okay, so each and every base consists of a score and it is basically known as FRET score. Okay, uh, this is a little bit, uh, bit detail about the FRET score. If uh, it starts from one and it ends to 0 0.00100, so okay, it, it is having it is the highest confidence. Okay, it is highest confidence and, and this is the least confidence. The basic concept is that when scanner is scanning, okay, when the scanner is scanning the fluorescence of that specific nucleotide, okay, for example, this is the scanner, okay, and it is scanning it. 
uh, basically it is the scanner and it is scanning these lights okay so when it captured um, the, uh, the the total in intensity of that light and it is confident about that specific nucleotide so it also uh, add those that nucleotide into that base for example this purple color is cytosine and after that what happened uh, uh, okay sorry this one is the cytosine okay so when it is when it capture the intensity of that light and it can capture it completely so it is confident it also gives cytosine uh, it adds cytosine into the fast q file and it also give it a confident score okay as i have discussed it confidence score so confidence scores are basically denoted by specific samples uh, these are the samples so ascii uh, fred plus 33 or uh, fred plus 64 are being used these are uh, two type of algorithms so in the sk plus 33 when the confident is 0 0.63 so it give it a h uh, sample and if it is in the in case of the sk plus 64 so it give it b sample okay so it depends upon the sequencing technology that which type of fret score are being used by those technology okay so uh, this was all about the quality score and uh, uh, the the higher the the probe error the least will be the quality okay so this is the highest quality the highest confidence and this is the least confidence okay so basically each and every um, each and every nucleotide or base is uh, is uh, is having a specific uh, uh, having a specific type of uh, quality score. Okay, so for example, if we say that uh, uh, I cannot connect it, but uh, we can say that for example, this is the C. Okay, let me try. This is the C. So it gives C this type of or uh, this type of. For example, this is the score of the C. Okay. So let's check into the, what is basically uh, what is basically this this one. So this is basically 0 0.00100. 0. So C is basically this first number C is uh, is having the highest confidence. Okay. So this was all about the fast few files. Okay. So this um the uh, the scanner can perform. Uh, error can be there okay the confidence score can be lowered because there are thousands of and millions of intensity lights and the scanner is scanning each and every intensity okay so it may get confused in the lights because if for example two type of lights are being produced okay here for example here is the green light and here is the yellow light so when green and yellow mixes so it give a different light okay so the scanner can uh, can be confused okay so that's why it gives it is not confident about that space and it gives it a uh, different score okay so this was all about that score now these are our fast q files uh the real structure of the fast q file and just as i have told you this is the header okay this is header and after that this is the sequence and this is the spacer and this is the quality okay this one is the quality so a single fast q file consists of millions of reads or we can say thousands of reads and uh, basically uh the structure of the fast q file the real structure is just looking like this okay now this was all about the the uh, as I have told you, this was all about the fast two files and how to understand the FRED score. Now, just a small concept about a single versus paired and reads, because most of the uh, most of the sample consist of paired and reads. So mostly the viewers are confused that what are basically paired and single end and paired end. So single end versus paired end. So for example, we are having a DNA. Uh, there are two stranded of DNA. So if we just sequence this part, okay. If we just sequence this part, if we sequence this part and we leave this part, okay, the second uh, strand. So basically this is single end okay when we if we just sequence this part so it is single end okay okay so uh, sorry this one is a single end and if we also sequence this part and if we, if we also sequence this part so basically this is paired end okay so it is very much simple again i'm telling you if we are having two strands and if we sequence this strand and also we sequence this strand so then we are having two uh, two pair, paired end sequences, okay? So this is basically single end paired end, okay? Uh, it's a more elaborative um, diagram. If this is the read number one and this is the read number two. Although the DNA has come from a single sample, but we are sequencing both the DNA ends, okay? So it is uh, important to sequence both the ends in order to gain much information. For example, if here is uh, information about gene A and here is uh, information about uh, gene B, okay? So if we just sequence this part, okay, so there is a chance that gene B cannot be uh, sequenced and it cannot show in the results, okay. So it's important to uh, to sequence both the parts or both the sides of the DNA, okay. So this was about, about the today's video. In the next video is that the, some of the problems in, in, in NGS data uh, include the adapter contamination and backwards base call. I have just uh, uh, talked about and backwards base call, but I will discuss in detail that what are basically in backwards base call and why these are generated. But this is the topic for next video. I recommend to watch each and every video in a flow. Uh, this will help you a lot and this will make you understand the real RNA sequencing data technology, the sequencing technology and the data analysis. Okay. So I'm I'm making videos in a very in a flow. So again, I'm recommending you to start from the very beginning and watch each and every video. Okay. So inshallah, if you have any question, just do comment me and you can also uh, email me. Uh, I will answer you there. Okay. So stay tuned. Inshallah, see you in the next video. Thank you very much. God bless you.